Yo, what's up guys? How are you doing? And welcome to episode 8 of the Leicester City career mode. Today, we are playing against West Brom and Watford, I believe. Now, looking at this league table quickly, we are 7 points behind the pecking order. Where Everton are uh, on top, West Ham a second, Chelsea a third, Man City fourth, Arsenal fifth. And from Chelsea down to Crystal Palace, everyone is on 17 points. Okay guys, so this is going to be the lineup against West Brom. We are playing Gabriel, Vardy, Mores, Sanchez, the return of Kante, Inla, Fuchs, Huth, Balanta, E. Orpha, Schmeichel. On the bench, we're going to have Okazaki, who's done full fitness, Gonzalez, Lingard, Gray, Amati, Chilwell and more. Uh, we've got Jesus on the bench, but that's just because of fitness reasons. All right, guys, so that's the lineup. We've got Foster Gomboa, Chester, Rondon is playing up top for him. Uh, you guys can pretty much see it. I was trying to look for my headphones, hence why I uh, kind of didn't read that out. Jamie Vardy tries to pass it out and unfortunately fails. The shot, it's a save from Schumacher. Robert Huth is there. Rob Sanchez just tries to run into the space. Looks for Inla. Looks for Mares. Mares turns. Mares shoots near post. Foster with the save. Looks for Rondon. Plays towards Sandro. McLean whips it towards the back stick. Oh, a fool! Well, who's there? Nearly with the own goal. By the way, McCauley, the 35 year old, actually used to play for Leicester. He was our captain as well. I can't even say his name. What is his name? I'm going to call him Poco. They're left back. I'm going to call him Poco because I cannot say his name to save my life. It's a very good opportunity here for Leicester. Plays it in. Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. Yes, let's go, baby. 1 0 to the Foxes. Jamie Vardy is there again, carrying on his party. He's bought his vodka and I've got the Charlie. Can I just say, I absolutely love Jamie Vardy. Like, I love this team for the counter. It works so well. Just this Jamie Vardy and um, Gabriel partnership, it's working really, really well. I'm still not 100% sure about Mares. All right, guys, so it's half time. It's 1-0. I believe we've only had two shots, maybe three, because the inner one as well. Uh, we've had three shots, three on target, 38% possession, 62% possession for them, like one the one goal. We're doing really well in defense at the moment. We are holding them... Um, very nicely they're not really breaking us down or breaking us through it's something that i really do enjoy about this formation but let's get underway with the second half good tackle there by inla inla gets the ball pass it out gabriel shoots it at the keeper oh and he misses the oh can we win ref no the offer okay i was oh please get up who is that no 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 this cannot be happening He's not even got the injury prone trait. What on earth is going on? He's just come back from injury and he's been injured again. What, guys? What am I supposed to do here? Like, what am I supposed to do here? What a. Right, Amati's coming on. You're having an absolute giggle. Clean. Poco. Inla. Nope. Oh, what a. Oh, my lord, was that Eorfa? Oh! Eorfa, I love you! What an amazing, amazing tackle! Slash block. Like, oh, that was that was amazing. Gabriel gets it to Vardy. Uh, Mares even. Looks for Rato Sanchez and finds him. Rato Sanchez on the shot from distance and it's wide. 75th minute. We're going to make some substitutes. A couple of players of our are now going to be tired. So, Sanchez. I can't really take you off, unfortunately. Or maybe I can. I'm going to put Lingard there. He played very well against Watford at centre mid. Mares is also going to come off as well for Okazaki. No, that's a lie. Gray's going to come on instead. Plays it out towards Inla, who is dead right now. Takes the shot, trying to go for the corner, but unfortunately lost the save. Balanta is there again. Plays it to Schumichael, who keeps... Oh my god, that's a poor touch! Oh, Schumichael, that was a poor touch! Schumichael! Oh, I don't know who that was. It was Eorfa. It was. Oh, we got away with that one. Oh, we got away with that one. I don't even know how we got away with it, but we got away with it. Oh, that that was dangerous. Eorfa, Gamboa. Jim Vardy can't tackle him. Ooh. Sessignon loses the ball. Plays it over towards Damari Gray. Damari Gray, can you end this? He can. 2-0, boys. Damari Gray sending us in the lead. That was some poor, poor play from West Brom there. I don't know what Sessegnon was doing. Just dithered on the ball. Amati, great little over-the-top through ball towards uh, Damari Gray. Just takes a touch, stops it, and rolls it into the uh, far side corner, the right side corner. All right, guys, so it is full time. We do get the 2-0 win. We had seven shots, five on target, 42% possession. We definitely held the ball a lot better and a lot more in that second half but nevertheless we get the two uh we get the three points all right guys so with that win it does send us into fifth arsenal dropping points crystal palace gaining uh, a place over arsenal so that puts us oh everton also dropped points as well as west ham 
so that Caesar's actually gain points on them. All right, guys, so it's time for the uh, training of the week. We're just going to simulate it. We're not going to change anything for now. A couple of things should go up. Sanchez is overall going to a 76, baby, after him getting an A. Short passing nearly going up to a 79, and his vision is almost a 75. That's great. Finishing going up there for Jesus. I'm not too sure if anything else did. All right, guys, so also we did get Kante back, but of course it does see him go out for another four weeks. And Shinji Okazaki is also unhappy. Oh, guys, we are also in November as well, so that means we do get to do a quick squad report. Let's have a look. So Eorth has gone up by one, Hooth has gone down by one, on, uh, Inlis still down by one, come on. Guys, for cup games, we are struggling with squad rotation at the moment. We have to always play one of our first team defenders. So what I'm actually thinking is, do we recall Yoan Benaluna? Benaluane? Do we recall this guy? He's not really played for much, much in real life and he can also play right back. He's got a medium high work rate, and so he's actually someone that I quite like. But what do you guys reckon? Do I recall him? It's up to you. By the way, guys, just to let you quickly know, I just kind of skipped past the squad changes. Um, but we've just basically named Marty for Kante. There are no other changes. All right, guys, so we're kicking off against Watford. Of course, we did just beat them two games ago in the Capital One Cup, albeit on penalties and with our reserve squad. Whips it in. Troy Deeney with the volley. Oh, good save in three minutes into the game. Wow. Great ball towards Gabriel. Gabriel to the near post, and he kind of goes across, and the keeper just catches it. Burgess. I don't know why, right, but every time I see Burgess' name, I always want to go Burgess. Silva. Okay. What? Mares. Tries to find Jamie Vardy and does. Jamie Vardy's free. Can he get two and two this episode? He can. What a finish again from Jamie Vardy. We're trying to I'm trying to aim for that. Aim for that top goal scorer. It's Diego Costa. He's coming for you. What a finish. Can I just say, guys, like, again, that little finesse around the keeper. Honestly, that works so well when you're playing against Legendary. Like, honestly, guys, keep trying. If you're in that similar sort of position, always finesse it around the goalkeeper to his far side. It seems to always go in. Oh, my God, Nyom whips it in. Schmeichel, great punch. Burgers, can't get that. Gabriel, Mares. Back to Gabriel. Back to Mares. You know what Mares is going to do? He's going to play through Jamie Vardy once again. Jamie Vardy, carbon copy. No, it's not that wide. Oh, how did he not finish it? I take it back. Everything I said about the previous goal, like with him, you know, finesse to the far side, clearly it doesn't work. Jamie Vardy just turns, shoots. Oh, Amati oh, just heads it towards the goalkeeper. All right, guys, so it's 1-0. We're being completely dominated in terms of possessions. However, we're gonna it's going to be a similar story to what it usually is. Possession-wise, we have nothing. However, shots-wise, it's all us. So again, let's just get on with the second half. Not much to say. Back to Silva. Silva goes back to Dini. Troy Dini here trying to get into the box. Takes a shot and what a finish. Space and time. Space and time. What a finish with his left foot top bins. That's their second shot of the game on target, that is. What? What a disappointing goal to concede. Sanchez finds Hooth. Hooth looks for Mares. Morris turns! Morris! Oh, he just toe pokes it towards the keeper's legs. 83rd minute, still 1 1. Watford are on, park the bus, and this is why it gets difficult. Legendary. Ah, full time, it's 1 1. We had such good chances and opportunities to score. And the worst thing is, I kind of stuck to my guns and I didn't want to make any substitutes that game. And we ended up having eight shots, seven on target, and it's just one of them, ain't it? It's just, it's really just one of them. Let's see where that puts us. It puts us into fourth, to be fair. Although Manchester City and Arsenal do have a game in hand over us, um, Spurs kind of catches. So maybe the draw, it, it might do us well, although the win would have taken us up to joint third. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I do apologise about recording all these episodes in advance. If you did enjoy it, please do smash the uh, thumbs up button and please do subscribe if you haven't already, if you do enjoy the content. If you have any tips for on how, to, uh, how I can improve this series or how I can improve as a YouTuber, then please do leave them down below in the comments. Again, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you later. I have been Ormsky and peace.